Hello YouTube, this is Carl, that BMX guy. And the latest update of Windows 11 version 24H2 is downloading on this thing. Okay, so with the other system, I had an issue where it somehow deactivated my key. Meaning I had to reactivate the thing. So I just typed the key onto this file. I don't know if you can see it there. And um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that ready for action. So right now we're updating, so we're going to turn this off for a second. Let's do that. That was installing. Okay, well, it's, it's done downloading and it's installing. So on here it took a little bit less time. Maybe the internet connection is really slow at the other place, so... So anyway, the key is ready for action. When I go to system, I go to about. Shows all the information of the system. We go to product key activation. So it's active. See that? Active. Um, so this is just ID. So it's an OEM copy. <clears throat> the last five digits for this. So it's active right here. So I'm going to go back to the update thing and it should be working. Okay, so after about, I don't know, at least 20 minutes, we're finally at this point. So it says restart required here and here. Go back to here and we'll look at this again. So product create and activation. Active. Key. Everything. You see it. Right there. Active. Okay, so we're gonna restart. We are here. So we don't really know. Okay, I'll just pause it for a second. So as it's loading, it got the stupid high on the screen. It's getting things ready. It's all like, oh, I got this coupon thing right here you're never going to use. So we'll just take a look at your computer, scan it, and see what we can do to make it use the AI correctly. And we'll just see that I just don't really do anything. I just look at YouTube videos. Or make YouTube videos. Might play a game once in a while. Might listen to music. That's really it. Cause I don't know. I don't go to school, so I don't need to use Microsoft Word. I haven't used Excel since statistics class, and I never use the email thing. I just use the Google Gmail. <clears throat> There's no reason to use the Outlook. But I guess they call it 365 now. But yeah, I, I always didn't like that. So this is kind of what it did when I first installed it last year. So I kind of had this running for almost one year now. This operating system that is just so much better than Windows 7. Right. So here we go. So it looks fine. You go to here and I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna look at this again. So right now, see it says activate now. See that? See that? I didn't even have to restart the computer. I think that's stupid. I mean, it literally just said, F you. 
we're going to make you have to waste your time looking for your key. Here we go. We'll restart it just to do it. And just to, just to give you an idea of what you see if you don't turn on for a while. Now supposedly the key is stored into the TPM of the motherboard, which it shouldn't have a problem finding. So, um, do this again. Just start this again. So, in the corner of the screen, it should say activate now somewhere. Well, it usually does. Well, the other one it did, it showed that activate thing. For all I know, maybe it's activated again. No, no, it still says activate. So the thing is, you would go to this and type that there. So we'll do that. I don't want to show you it because I, well, I don't know. I just don't want to show you it. Um, okay, so we just act, I just entered a key. And we'll just activate. It might not activate, who knows? Okay. So where would that else would that be? So if you look here, and you go to product key activation. So it doesn't even show it. See that? It hides it after that. Hmm. It was actually able to show the license and the key. And now that doesn't show that at all. It shows it's activated, but it doesn't show the other two items. Maybe that's the bug. Maybe that's the problem. It got rid of those two buttons. And it just messed it up. Okay, so, um... Whatever it's doing, uh, I don't know. Okay, then update. Sure, everyone else is. So we'll restart again. Just to restart it. See if it stays. Because you don't know. You never know. So this is the tough gaming. B650M Wi-Fi plus whatever I had since 2022. I'm not sure what it's doing now. Not a real. Okay. Do this again. Yeah, so with the other system, I said, you must activate the windows to use anything. It probably gave more of a crap on it, because that one actually has... Yeah, I'm wondering what apps it added. I don't want. We'll go back to here. You gotta find your about area, and it's like... Yeah, it doesn't show that other stuff anymore. So before, it actually showed your... Um, the number that's on the CD box, like if you look at the carton number, there's a COA barcode. It showed that, I think. And then your key. At the end of it, at least. I don't know. There's, no, there's that barcode. Whatever the case, <clears throat> it doesn't show it now. This also kind of looks a little different. The last update whatever it was there was an update update history like this one is 125 24 feature updates is it 125 That's literally like the next day of the other one. Whatever the update was, it was a big update and um, it made it so sort the of screen, you had backgrounds that were from around the world and you could look at them differently over time. Like I was like, no, 
I just wanted this one background every time. Um, that was the only thing interesting about that. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the only thing that seems to have changed if you look at that situation. Supposedly like Copilot, which you would easily access by right clicking this, or left clicking it. It's right there. Sometimes it goes down in this and says, hey, want to use me? And I think that's because like the other computer had um, Edge running all the time as a main program or whatever else. I kind of wish like I could just like have you know, this as a default program in this thing. But I don't know where, where else would I see stuff like this. So teams, I just added back in here, and I don't want that thing. I don't want that in there. I thought it said apps. No, all apps. I don't know if it added anything in the list of stuff other. Than maybe Copilot was added, but it might have been already there. Just a lot of useless stuff I don't use. Meaning, I don't use it. I'm not going to buy that. <clears throat> I don't even use Edge. So. Got documents. Snipping tool. Spotify. Yeah, the, the games have their own location, and I kind of just have them all shortcutted right here. I mean, benchmarks all right on the spot. Yeah, I don't understand why it has to be reactivated. Um, maybe they get rid of that bug in another update. Who knows, but I looked at Reddit, and Reddit... People were saying this was happening since October, obviously, and it doesn't look like it was fixed because this is December of the same year. It's not like it's right behind October 24th. This is a couple months away. A lot of people are saying something is like a bug. When you look at the three dots, this thing goes to space. Yeah, it does go to space, doesn't it? This goes all the way up here instead of like, you know, right here. You can still look at other stuff. This is still tiny. Yeah, we got a DVD player, that's right. Now, the only thing I notice is like, if you try to rip CDs or DVDs, you can rip them with both this media player, right? This is the the new one. That's a video. Got music, you know, whatever. You still got the old music player that I'm not even sure how to get to. Meaning I didn't put it with this for some reason because I should have. But whatever the case, like, um, is it in this list? Media player. The old one. No. Well, what I have is I have the old media player open whenever I put a CD in there. So I can rip CDs. But the thing is, like, the problem with it is that it makes crackling sounds no matter what and I tried changing this like I said like there's a spastic sound thing other crap I didn't even show it here now I don't even know where it went Mono volume. Or sound settings.
Okay, well, I don't really know where that is now. Maybe it doesn't do it now. Maybe they fixed that when they were trying to break everything else. But whatever, um, I guess that's about all I can say about that. So that was my take on the, the newest update, which is 22... That was, where's this history? 24H2. As in 2024. Well, I guess it's 2024. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> What's new? It shows it here. Copilot plus PC exclusives. Bluetooth should be better. System train task for enhancements. So this is the system tray and it's the task for enhancements. Mm -hmm. Task view. You know what I miss with the taskbar? Is being able to go hold the button and push it over there. Or push it up here. Or push it over there. You can't do that anymore and it's stupid. Because you can have the start menu up here or over here or over there if you put it over here. I, I kind of think it's stupid that you, you're stuck with it down at the bottom. At least you can move this little group of guys, you know, the, the, the menu button, the window button. You still got this, which is interesting. It's like a little control panel of simple options, if you think about it. Or is it the simple options I'm using all the time? I mean, it might change. I don't know if that's the same every time or not. So it, it made the system tray more advanced. So what's more advanced? I see nightlight, whatever the hell that is. I still don't know what that is. Accessibility, nearby sharing, energy saver, projects. Or project. PC screen only. Do the thing extend, second screen only. Okay, well. It was just like some screen enhancements that <clears throat> I can't necessarily do anything with anyone's monitor. Generally, you would just use the NVIDIA control panel for that kind of stuff. Smart power management, join and share Wi Fi networks. So, on the other one, it has a Wi Fi and you can make it a hotspot, but I think you were always able to do that. I don't remember what it did or didn't do. Live captions? Yeah, I don't know. Most of that stuff's the same as Windows 10. Sudo for Windows. Hmm. So you can type sudo now for developers? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All I can say is that this in particular update 24H2 kind of gave a headache. Was it worth bothering with? Nope. But hey, I just wanted to give my take on the situation. I don't know. Maybe there's a fix for the bug that someone knows about, or <clears throat> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching.